Salvation Be the call, the escalation This is your radio salvation Go, 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 go Welcome, everybody, to another edition of Thoughts Count Anywhere. It's a Wednesday night here in warm and humid Las Vegas. Thank you. We got a busy show tonight. A lot's going on in the world of sports, as well as recapping all this past weekend's news and events, and, of course, some breaking news coming out of NXT. So hopefully you've already seen it. If not, you better close your eyes or cover your ears. I'm Aaron. That's Scott. That's Jason in the cage. And Matt at the end there. Aaron behind the board. And you folks... Paying attention to what we got going on, as always, 702-329-6947. Give us a call. If you're outside the United States, 855-502-4321. Send us a live tweet using hashtag thoughts count anywhere. And, of course, the chat rooms are being monitored by all those in present company. Gentlemen, how is y'all since we last seen y'all? It's a bittersweet. <laughs> Turn up his mic there, sir. There we go. Put a quarter in the slot. Testing one, <laughs> two, three. Testing Major Tom. It's yes, sir. It's bittersweet this week. Yes, it is bittersweet. Uh, the monitor in front of us, we are currently watching uh, uh, NXT from tonight. Uh, the studio was kind enough to record the earlier version of the show. And uh, yeah, so kind of bittersweet for sure. A lot of hard work. Jason, how are you this week, sir? Good, good, yeah. very good. All right. Matt, how's life on Fremont treating you? Questionable at most times, but it's all right. Do you have problems standing in that little circle for more than an hour? <laughs> that ain't me. That's the people with no jobs that bring their Walmart costumes and try to earn a couple bucks. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, you can catch us on Instagram. You can catch us on Facebook. Catch us on YouTube. Catch us on GoLive.Vegas. Catch us on GoLiveVegas. Download Modable app. Mobile, modable? Mobile app. What is, what's a mobile app? I have mobile. no idea. Ooh, ooh. I just combined four words together. I have no idea. You're always uh, trying to do it in one breath. I am. Yes. I am. That was just Breathe. Periscope, Twitch, Twitter, golive.vegas, the mobile app, Go Live Vegas downloadable app. And of course, let's get the show started off and let's turn to Mr. Matt and share with our audience what is at stake starting six minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> On our website, thoughtscountanywhere.com, we have a giveaway for a tiny lister autograph from the promo picture when he was Debo from Friday. All you have to do is follow the instructions on the post and you will be entered to win. And the contest ends at 730 next week. So we will announce the winner live on the show. Right on. We have a picture up now that's of the, the other uh, picture. The, yeah, that's, that's what. Now, you mentioned he was, uh, what was his character name on the other show? Debo in the Friday movies. Okay. That's on the website. That's the one we're giving away right on. tonight. So, yeah, and that's, the, I think he was first introduced to the world, right, Jason, as uh, Zeus? I be- hello, 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 yeah, hello. You're good. You're on. I believe that is true. <laughs> uh, don't quote me on that. Um, he actually first started in TV. 
He was on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, that's right. For like one episode or something. Yes, sir. All right, that's true. But I remember him as Zeus. Well, that's that's your error. <sighs> He's lucky. I don't have anything sharp up here to throw behind. Oh, me. I got a pit. I could throw at your back of your head. I got two over here too. Okay. So why don't you share with everybody the guy we just saw there behind commentary? He's got some bad news for people. <laughs> Well, I don't think Wade Barrett did the bad news. But... <laughs> well, no, he, that was his catchphrase. Wasn't it? I've got bad news for you. Oh, well, yeah. Well, Wade Barrett is uh, doing some color commentary on USA's NXT show tonight. But for all the Las Vegas people out there, here's your tear-breaking news. Karrion Cross, who did have a legit injury, shoulder. Um, we've had some conversation with him, and he was going to, no surgery required, but work through it with uh, you know, physical therapy. He has relinquished the NXT belt. Boo. Boo, yeah, boo. Which uh, we had a conversation, you know, why couldn't he just work through it? I think with everything in wrestling going on and the interest of the belt in NXT, I think they needed to keep a storyline going. Um, Ciampa was supposed to come back tonight anyway. If people remember, he was the first victim of Karrion Cross. Right. And so uh, they're going to have a four-way dance next week. You've got uh, Finn Balor. Adam Cole, Tommaso Ciampa, Ciampa, and Gargano. Gargano. I see in a uh, four-way dance. Or it's 60 a 60-minute 60 60 Iron, Iron Man. Uh, okay. Epic. <laughs> epic. Well, William Regal made it sound really important. Yeah. Uh, that the, is going to be epic. That's going to be the worst match ever. Oh, boy. I don't see any of those four being able to go 60 minutes. Like the old school wrestlers, they don't have enough in their tank, I don't think. And, Interesting. You know, especially, especially with... <laughs> don't, forget, don't forget, Matt. In the older days of wrestling, you know, two people, Bachwinkle, Flair, they used to be able to go 60 minutes because. Rest holds. <laughs> well, yeah, very 30 true. 30 minutes of but, sleeper holds. But, yes. they, but they could tell a story. These guys can't tell stories like they used to. And with all the hard work that they do and high flying maneuvers, I don't think they can go a full 60 minutes without blowing up. Unless they, you know, tour in the ring for 15. And then high on the the outside, yeah. yeah. And do that kind of thing. But to be honest with you, I don't don't need 60 minutes of that. Uh, 15 should go fine uh, because you're going to lose your viewership unless you can keep the storyline going. Absolutely. Um, You need 75 minutes of that. That's right. (laughs) Mr. Producer, can you take off the top line that's uh, the Twitter there from last week, if you don't mind, so it clears up the screen? I just see Mandy Rose. That's about it. I know, right? That's all we need to say. Uh, Chief says in the chat room, if you guys haven't seen it, Chief is disqualifying himself from promotion. And I'm guessing that means NXT because of, the, of what Karrion did? He's no, from the promotion we're doing. The giveaway. Oh, that promotion. Yes. Oh, you fell right into my trap. So we could talk about the promotion. Oh, okay. <sighs> Jason, got to teach these guys. I know. You got to teach him? Well, ooh, last ooh. time I checked, he's teaching you. I don't know what show you're watching. I've got, oh. I, I got a great wingman over there in the cage. <laughs> oh, all of a sudden? No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, let's get started. Ring that bell. What bell? Yeah. Oh, where is it? There you go. I hear voices. Vince apparently decided to keep changing the Raw show all the way up to including one hour into the show. Gentlemen? Shocker. He's been doing that for years. He's been changing <laughs> that uh, five minutes before the match and even during the match. I don't see that being uh, you know, a, a big shocker. Yeah, big shocker. That. <laughs> True, I just thought it was like, I couldn't imagine the chaos backstage. It just seemed like <laughs> the chaos of like an independent show when everybody knows what's going on. I couldn't imagine like a national TV show with, oh, you thought you were doing this all day? Psych. Now you're going to do this, <laughs> well, this, and this. And you go on in two minutes. Good luck. Well, here's the question, Scott. You've done indie shows. What would happen in that situation if you had to do that? <laughs> well, it depends on who you're working with. It, you know, if they're true professionals, they go with the flow. Right. And they can you know, change in a heartbeat. Uh-huh. I, we've had <clears throat> very few times I was on camera. I just didn't like to be on camera for the, the events. But I remember one match that you know, basically an individual decided he wanted to hit the floor first in a cage match. And I caught his leg and, <laughs> you know, and put it back on the table he went through. Um, oh, you know, my goodness. It, it, stuff like that happens. Uh, you know, Sabu... Uh, leaning through the cage and asking me, uh, where the hell are the other fluorescent tubes this asshole hit me with? Um, you know, <laughs> it, it, you, you change on the fly, and that, that's what true professionals do. 702-329-6947. Give us a call on what your favorite match was over the weekend, whether it was NXT, 
whether it's from uh, SummerSlam, uh, whatever, just give us a call. Or how about the fact Brody Lee won a title last week? Or not? 329-6947. <laughs> Does anybody watch AEW Next anymore? topic. Yeah. Actually, they had 850,000 viewers last week, which for them was high uh, with no wrestling competition. True. Go figure. Miz, lead of retribution, gentlemen. I don't see it, but that's me. I don't see it either, but no. it was just kind of weird on like SmackDown when they all came out. Like the whole roster was out there, and it took Miz like a good Forever two minutes to, to get out there. Right. Just kind of raise suspicions. And now, of course, Roman Reigns' name has come up as possible leader. I actually saw one video take that looked like somebody who had a sleeve, and we'll call it the tats, on his arm. Okay. That the regular sleeve of the black came up, and I was like, did I just see that? And I replay. I had it on the later broadcast. That part was cut out. Could it be oh. one of the other Uthos? I don't think they had. I don't think they're down to their wrists though, like Roman. Are they? Yeah. Their yeah. tats are they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It wouldn't what? be as impactful if it was the Usos. It right. would have to be Roman or CM Punk or. Well, I was looking for the hand for... tats. Is what I was looking. Yeah. for. AJ uh, Lee's name came up in the still picture of the three. That one that looked like Roman, and I don't remember who they said the middle was, but they said the one on the end. Her eyes look very familiar to possibly being AJ Lee. I don't see that either. It's been too long, but shock it, value being what it is. It's got to be somebody of impact. Uh, right. You know, the Usos, like you were Wait, saying. Of impact. Matt. Did you try to say a little something there? No. Okay. <laughs> Just curious. That, that's the only promotion they would ever get. Um, <laughs> if it's anybody besides a Roman or somebody with a true star mentality, you know, it needs a pop. And if it's just somebody off the, yeah, it's like, okay, thanks for stopping by. Right. Right. Okay. Next topic. Otis is going to be carrying around a piece of luggage for a while, apparently. Matt, what do you hear about that? Apparently, WWE has no creative direction as far as Otis cashing in money in the bank. So I was kind of wondering if it was going to happen at SummerSlam. Just because when they said never see it coming, right. who would have saw him like, well, the only, in the middle of Bray Wyatt or... But after, after Roman got involved at the end, possibly would have been his opportunity to come in and, and pin the Fiend. But I would not see that as a normal practice. And Drew and, and Orton, mm, I mean, the Intercontinental belt? I mean, why do you get... You don't get cash in the bank on Intercontinental titles. No, you it's, can only cash that belt in on the Universal or the WWE. Right, but I thought Wrestling they... Wrestling has rules? I mean, yeah. <laughs> on the belt-wise, it does. Oh, okay. I thought there was something I had heard of one time. Any belt he <laughs> wants, including the Intercontinental, but I know what you're saying, and I agree with you, actually. Um, but, I mean, there's got to be something out there, otherwise he's going to be the most useless Money in the Bank winner ever. Did you see Mandy's outfit? Nobody cares about him coming out to the I didn't ring like anymore. That, I didn't like that outfit. Because if she's not hanging on his side, no one cares. Yeah, I, you know, that outfit she looked like she was wearing from the 1950s bathing suit collection. Well, I mean, actually, she got that. I, I don't that, remember that, do you? That outfit, I saw pictures. That outfit was actually worn by Eva Marie at one of the events. Really? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. They wash uh, it first? Who knows? Okay. <laughs> did you see, the, did yeah. you see the mothball? What did you say? Giggity. Yeah. <laughs> They, didn't you see the mothball holes that were in there? I mean, yeah. Come on. All right, next topic. All right, this shocked a lot of people. Uh, Alexa Bliss, for all the hype uh, with her and The Fiend and Strowman leading up to the weekend, she was nowhere to be found. Thoughts, gentlemen? I like what I put in our chat room. <laughs> <laughs> for those who don't know, we, we chat amongst ourselves in our own little Do we now? Yeah, chat room <laughs> through Facebook. I hear and I, I put in there that, uh, you know, she's pregnant. And I, I'm pretty sure this man over here just started crying. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody actually put in the Twitter feeds when somebody commented about Bliss, and one of them came up with an injury. That's why she didn't participate with all of her concussions. And right. then when, when you said that, I'm like, Birth is now an injury? What? But she actually... Have you gone through childbirth? I've been... Yeah, well, my hand was crushed by my <laughs> wife as she was delivering. That's about as close as I can get. But didn't she hit on her Twitter that she goes, I'm not injured? Yes, she did. She did reply emphatically. She just posted like a little gift thing that goes like this. Like everyone kept asking yeah. her why she wasn't on yeah. SummerSlam. I think it, that was... It a happens. Big, I thought it was a disappointment that with all the build up and everything to get to the match... That as of yet, I mean, we may see something different come Friday yeah. or come the pay-per-view Sunday. on Sunday. Yeah. So who knows? All right. Uh, it is about quarter after. Before we get into start talking about the pay-per-view, what do you say? We take a, take a time to fix my teeth. Um, <laughs> exactly. Your teeth uh, or your breath? Well, my brain, actually. <laughs> Why do you um, have one of those little spit filters and not us? 
because he Sergeant spit Slaughter. Th- that, there you go. I need a windshield wiper. Okay. That's right. I'm <laughs> uh, We're going to go to break. Don't go anywhere. Go to our website. <laughs> put entries in there. What are the entries, by the way? What can they do to gain, gain entries into the giveaway? You, you have know, to enter your email, like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube, and send a tweet. Well, one of them is guaranteed. You have to do, right? One of them, you have to, the guaranteed one, you have to send your email. The other ones are bonus entries. There you go. All right. ThoughtsCanAnywhere.com. Do that during the break. We'll be right back. For all your sports collectibles in Las Vegas, stop by PowerPlay Sports Collectibles in the Boulevard Mall. PowerPlay has a large selection of items from all your favorite teams, specializing in the Vegas Golden Knights, Las Vegas Raiders, and pro wrestling. PowerPlay Sports Collectibles has an online store if you prefer the online shopping experience, plus they ship worldwide. So if you're looking for that sports collectible for yourself or that special someone, check out PowerPlay Sports Collectibles online at www.powerplaysportscards.com or at the Boulevard Mall. Old world recipes. Old world style. Old world taste. Burnt Offerings at 3909 West Sahara Avenue is where the old world meets Las Vegas for a dining experience like no other. Burnt Offerings, where foodies dine. Hi there, hi there. Welcome back. What's got anywhere? Me and the gang are here. You folks out there, 702-329-6947. Give us a call. Let us know what your favorite match, your most disliked match was over the weekend, whether it's NXT, SummerSlam, whatever it is, just give us a call, 702-329-6947. And, of course, Matt, share again how they can enroll into our giveaway. Go to ThoughtsCountAnywhere.com, and you can enter your email, like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube, and the contest will last one week. Do we need to put a disclaimer out there that employees and family members of those cannot... I was waiting for somebody to slip me a 20, so... (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. All right, let's get started. Ring that bell. Pay-per-view results. Let's start with NXT, Matt. Legato Del Fantasma versus Brizango versus Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch. Brizango came out victorious. Tyler, or sorry, Finn Balor versus... Timothy Thatcher, Finn Balor won. The North American title ladder match was Bronson Reed versus Cameron Grimes versus Damian Priest versus Johnny Gargano versus Velveteen Dream. It was really cool to see Damian Priest finally get a belt. Okay. Now, I, I want to stop for once. I want to start a conversation regarding Velveteen Dream. You know, there's been a lot of backlash about him, you know, coming back onto WWE TV with all the uh, allegations at this point. I just want to get your guys' thoughts on Velveteen Dream getting uh, FaceTime again on TV. Jason? A, oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. He's a good wrestler. He's a douchebag of a person. Thank okay. you. After I've met him a couple times, okay. he's... He's not the nicest of fans at all. He ain't nice to anybody, so... Is a success to go into his head? Because I remember watching him in the Tough Enough competition where he won or, or you know, he was involved with. He didn't yeah. come across that way in that. Is this the matter of success just kind of going to somebody's head? I don't know. He wasn't even really popular like the first time I met him, and he was just a complete douchebag. Okay. But who knows? They didn't really keep the title on him that much either. I mean... Yeah, he was North American champion, but that title reign was not that long. Well, didn't he shortly after that is when all the crap started hitting the fan for him? Yeah. Right? So um, he was the, what's the old saying of his uh, environment? He was a result of his environment, so he had no choice, right? Okay, uh, let's pick up Pat McAfee, Adam Cole. What, you were, what was your thoughts on that match, Scott? I, mean, I, I thought it was a great match, to be honest with you. I did, I did not expect uh, Pat McAfee to come off the way he did. The moves, the high-flying moves, the uh, you know, risky takes for pretty much an NFL kicker. And he came off really well, great on the mic, I thought, mm-hmm. and really brought the heat. Okay. So for- Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, and unfortunately, according to reports, his contract ran out. So now he's not even involved, supposedly, with WWE anymore. So There's rumors that Triple H actually talked to him and that there's going to be a contract. Oh, okay. That's that way. good. 
That's good. For someone like outside of WWE, that was the best debut match I think I've ever seen. I thought it was Tyson Fury. I thought you liked that. Wow. Yeah, wow. That's right. Holy I'm going to send my own hate mail to Scott <laughs> at ThoughtsCountAnywhere.com. Sure. Oh, my goodness. Go where all my other email went. Seven, <laughs> spam. 702-329-6947. Let us know your thoughts on any of the matches. Uh, Jason, last couple of matches. Why don't we touch on those, please? NXT women's title match, Io Shirai versus Dakota Kai. Uh, Io Shirai, of course, won due to interference with Dakota Kai's little crony. And little? The, She's a big crony. <laughs> <laughs> little crony. <laughs> and Rhea Ripley got involved in the match as well. And then, of course, our final match of the night, NXT title match, Karrion Cross versus Keith Lee. Of course, Karrion won with a separated shoulder. You know, there's, there's stories all over the place, and, and I know, Scott, you can attest to these, about injured wrestlers mm-hmm. who get injured during a match. I mean, you could think of Triple H when he blew his quad and he had to be helped up. Finn John, Balor. Finn Balor, uh, John Cena getting his nose busted by Seth Rollins in the middle of that Monday <laughs> night match. Um, and, you know, just they had carry and cross. But what, what is, the, is this where adrenaline just sort of takes over the body when, when you have an injury like this, shoulder separation, a broken nose, a ripped quad, a knee, a neck, a this or that? that the adrenaline just plays stupid and allows you just to continue on in the a- Absolutely. I mean, if you're an athlete, and, you know, in my better days I was. Um, <laughs> but, no, I mean, I tore my knee coming around first base, you know, playing baseball. And I literally kept going to third, and they're trying to figure out how I made it to third base, let alone, you know, walked off the field. Um, no, it just – it's it's the adrenaline kicks in. Um, first of all, Kevin, uh, give you props – you continue that match. I saw when it happened. Uh, a good friend of mine, Howard Brody, who's uh, part of the NWA, he actually texted me. He goes, do you think he just? And I went, yeah. Wow. He, he texted me. He saw it right away, too. And, you know, it just you're too, if you're a true professional in the, the wrestling business, like you mentioned, Triple H, how the hell did he walk? Um, but realistically, you know, he's a professional, and I see him coming back. I really see, uh, you know, uh, Champa getting the belt and then playing it off for a few weeks. And then, you know, four to six weeks from now, uh, since he doesn't need the surgery, he comes back and just destroys Champa and moves on. I just don't understand why you lose a match and you get promoted to Raw <laughs> <laughs> and then get to wear a cheerleading outfit. Yeah, well, you know, it's Vince, right? I mean, even Vince had one of the most notable injuries getting into the ring. And, and uh, that's where they had the over the top battle royale when Cena and I think it was Wade Barrett, wasn't it? Batista. Oh, Batista, Batista. when their feet hit the same time and all the arguing and Vince comes out and by the time he gets him to the ring he blows both of his quads out yeah. and he's sitting there in the ring doing can't, his thing I mean, yeah he just kept going he right. just kept going so alright um, next topic let's go into SummerSlam alright um, pre-show Apollo Crews maintains his uh, United States title mean anything beating the Hurt Business no not really I'm just surprised he's still champion honestly with Paul Heyman not in charge anymore. It was like he's the main one that wanted to push him, and Vince right. didn't really like Apollo Crews much. So it's kind of surprising he's still champion, honestly. I kind of like him. I mean, really, ever since winning the belt, I mean, he, there's, there's just been a change in his attitude a little bit. Yeah. He's not just, I mean, he's smiling because he's happy, but it's just not happy-go-lucky. It's, it's a happy gets down to business kind of thing. You know? So I think that's, that has been good for him, and maybe Vince is seeing some, some other side, maybe. I hope so. Uh, Bailey versus Asuka. Bailey wins in one in the first of two matches for Asuka. Jason, my thoughts on that match was it could have it should have went to Asuka, but as we all saw, Sasha Sasha really helped Bailey, and Bailey didn't help Sasha. Well, it's, it sets up the the rift between exactly. Them, yeah. it's, yep. It sets up sets up a beautiful rift between the two, like we all we always have seen, and we already know they're going to lose their tag belts Sunday, so. It's to Mia, good. to, to Jackson, and, and uh, to uh, Baszler, I mean, are you excited about that tag team match that was made? I mean, it's I know got, you. It's got Nia Jax. You think I know, I was just going to say, I know all? you're excited about Jax. DVR'd it already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ran out of DVR space <laughs> on my cloud that's on oh, Darn. Yeah. Oh, darn. Oh, my. So should we say it's the, uh, um, uh, the champs, right? Taking on Haystacks Calhoun and. Uh, oh. And Wednesday from the Adams family, right? According to that little segment. Wow. That's, what the, that's what the segment was. Not me. I'm not saying that. That's what they called each other. So, 
<laughs> okay. But I mean, they, they were thrown together the way like Mick Foley, I guess, put and Cesaro the and... Uh, <laughs> the Rock and Sock Connection. That's yeah. right. That's right. Those two and, and uh, Cesaro and Sheamus were just thrown together. And look at the su- success that they had. Um, all right. Street Profits match for the tag titles there, Mr. Scott. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Wasn't that your favorite over the weekend? I, I thought it was one of two matches. I, I just was not impressed at all. Uh, with that match, uh, a lot of the, uh, to me, I saw a couple of botches and some slips and uh, for, botches. Uh, you know, uh, Montez Ford just really did nothing. He can get high off the ropes. I mean, he he gets a lot of height coming off that turnbuckle, but I it, they just don't impress me. The street profits. I, I just don't like their character gimmick. Yeah. I mean, right now with the social climate in the, in America, um, the goofiness. If you want to earn respect and and show the African community, some get, they are good wrestlers, right. and you're putting them in a goofy situation that may just they, they deserve more. I really, I really think they deserve more. Absolutely, um, Andrade and um, um, Garza, a uh, little rift now there happening as well. We see a little separation between those guys. I really thought they were going to win the tag titles on Sunday. I was surprised that the Street Profits retained. Yeah, yeah. I absolutely. It's time to move on. All right, loser leaves. WWE, Sonya Deville, Mandy Rose, Jason. The match was not entertaining, to say the least. It was a huge buildup with very little um, re- repar as we, uh, repertoire in it. Mm-hmm. it. It just, you had them both. One was doing this. Mandy was pulling up her, pulling down her, short, her shorts. It just was a back and forth, up, down, up, down. Nothing like they thought it was going to be with the whole drama that they caused. Well, and I think the shift, and I didn't realize the reason that they shifted the uh, uh, loser leaves hair versus loser leaves. But, of course, for those who don't know, I mean, they had the uh, kidnapping situation in DeVille's home. Um, and I didn't realize Mandy Rose was, like, in the house or was in yeah, that vicinity did. as well. I didn't realize that. But the attorney said, you know, it wouldn't look good if you have a shaved head going into court. So that's why the stipulation changed. And <laughs> yeah. I guess he's right from the presentation very, standpoint. Very true. And plus, you know, she's going to have a lot going on in her, uh, her life and, yeah. and mental right now. Because yeah. when you look at the whole kidnapping thing, he had t- intended to actually decapitate her. And, you know, that's traumatic for her, a woman, let alone anybody, you know. And so she needs some time off, and I think this is the best way. She's not leaving WWE for all the Sonya Deville fans. Right. She'll be back. Um, she needs some time. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. obviously the Absolutely. trial, too. Yeah. Absolutely. Makes perfect sense. I think the sense. feud had, like, uh, steam to it at first. But, like, once this whole kidnapping thing happened and it was, like, released that Mandy Rose was in the house with mm-hmm. her, I kind of just think it lost steam yeah. completely well, they were with, on their, like, all the smart fans out there. They were on their way back to the house. They weren't in the house at the time the guy was there, if I'm, if right. I'm not mistaken, right? And for they those, were in the house, yeah. and they just got to the car and left. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought they were out coming back, and they found him in the house. So. No, they okay. were asleep, yeah. and oh. then the alarm went off, and she looked out on the patio <laughs> And saw him with a knife, so they booked it to the car gotcha. and called 911. And gotcha. for those who don't know, obviously they are in a bubble in a sense right. for some of the workers down mm-hmm. in the Orlando area. So, you know, if people are living in different states or different cities, a lot of them are, um, you know, sharing their homes or their mm-hmm. apartments with other wrestlers to kind of keep a little bit you know, right. safer with the environment we're going on right now. Absolutely. All right, uh, next match. Uh, the Raw, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. Seth Rollins, Dominic Mysterio. Thoughts? I'll open it up to anybody who wants to jump in on that one. I wanted to see Dominic turn. I was kind of waiting for it. And then Monday, but, I was waiting for him to turn. Yeah, but it didn't happen. I, I hate when handcuffs come out, though. Seeing Ray handcuffed. <laughs> and I just, to me, just, you know, sometimes you just got to go a little too far. But I, listen, I thought he held his own pretty well. He did. I, you know, in, in the match against a guy yeah. like Rollins. But then again, he was in the ring with the right kind of guy that would help present a good match in Rollins as well. Right. True. You know, um, plus if anybody's with- had a lifetime worth of training, obviously it's been him. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Now they're going to, pro- let's see, Ray, what signed, we have it on here, so I'm going to jump ahead as long as we're mm-hmm. talking about it. Ray signed a new contract, right? Yeah, he signed a new three year deal with WWE. Okay. And what do we think about Prince Mysterio as a new character, new mask, and stuff like that, Jason? That's what they're talking about, possibly. Um, I kind of like the way it was. Just 
Dominic Mysterio, not no Prince, not nothing like that. He still could, he could have did his uniform as a tribute to his dad, but his dad is the lucha king as far as it comes to the mask and everything. Right. Right. You don't need to do that. And he does he does make tribute to his dad by doing the 619. Mm-hmm. And he does make a tribute to Eddie by doing the frog splash, which I think he did really good on that frog splash. He, yes. He hit it really well. But he doesn't need to go any more further than that. Well, I think it's also the heritage of the mask in, in Lucha, right? True. But he came out without a mask. So, yep. you know. And for those who don't know, Ray's wrestled without a mask before. WCW. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but realistically, I think he should stand, you know, stand on his own. And I forget, I just popped into my head. Somebody else in our industry has said that about his uh, son. Um, I wanted you to stand on your own, so don't follow in my footsteps. I forget who that was. Ted DiBiase. Yes. I see how well that worked for him. Yeah. That didn't work very well. <laughs> well, dad's, I think Wayne dad's Gretzky's a legend. kid had a better idea. His dad was so good at hockey, he went to baseball. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's a good point. That's, that's a, like that's a shadow a, you can't get out of. Yeah. Exactly. That, that's a great point. Well, who was it? Uh, Bob Greasy. Mm-hmm. You had Brian Greasy, who mm-hmm. decided he wanted to replace John Elway. Mm-hmm. Didn't work very well. Yeah. And then you, you want well, to go. first he was in Miami. No, he? he went to Miami. Oh, after leaving. And it's oh, like, right. dude, you just went to try to fill your dad's shoes. You know, you one fire to the other. I mean, yeah. Well, look at two NASCAR. Earnhardt Jr. and Sr. Yeah. Yep, uh, his absolutely. career ended a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, send moving it, on. Yeah, send <laughs> it to Scott at thoughtsandanywhere.com. <laughs> Ring the bell. <laughs> oh, my God. Submission right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, hey, real- you wanted controversy in the show. We <laughs> got it. Hey, listen. Asuka, in her second attempt to win a belt that she should have never lost in the first place against Sasha Banks, did recapture the Raw women's title uh, no over. To no Bailey. And no, right, Bailey ducked out of the way. First of all, look, two months ago or whatever pay per view it was, she should have never lost the belt anyway. That whole fiasco with the ref being knocked out, Bailey taking the striped shirt, counting the pin, totally ridiculous. So, I mean, in my mind, she won back a belt she should have never lost in the first place. But now, you, like you said, now the rift is going to start between Bailey and you, Sasha. You know it's scripted, right? No. Okay. I just no, it is. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's still, just the, just the presentation after that match, which was a very good match between those two at the time, to have it end that way, I thought, was not really the best. But okay. Um, I think I'm being crazy. Cri- I, boy, I'm taking some heat in the chat room. Are you, what you, what do yeah, you got you there? Are. Please share. Chris Chandler, who is a huge NASCAR <laughs> fan, basically, and he does all my flyers. I think I'm not gonna, anymore. Not anymore. Not. <laughs> I, I get the WTF. Yes, <laughs> yes you did. Thanks, Chris. That's right. They He's wanted fine. controversy. I created controversy. I guess I'm the heel today. Well, listen, even if she- I was you. I shut my mouth. There you go. You, listen. <laughs> it's the first time he's hit that perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Hall of Fame man himself. Absolutely. Uh, Chief says, ring the bell on that note. <laughs> Thomas Burnett says hello. And yes, I see the message from Chris. Okay, real quickly before we close out this segment. Uh, again, Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre. Drew gets the win. I thought we talked about this before going on the air. I thought it was also a very, very good match. I did too. I, I think we all kind of you know, wrote off Randy. And, you know, why another title? But he held his own. And you know what? That showed me what two true professionals and how good Randy is. Like Flair said, he's one of the best. Um, But they had a great match. And the finish, I thought, was perfect. Absolutely. Absolutely. For those who who don't know, obviously, I think everybody expected either the RKO, which Randy tried, what, three, four times? Or the Claymore. Or the Claymore. And as soon as that match ended, I turned to my wife and I said, I can't tell you the last time I saw a match end on a freaking backslide. I'm like, those things never hold. Two, and the guy kicks out. Never. And I turned to her and I said, really? And then it goes back to the re- basic wrestling move yep. that you don't see with Randy beating uh, Edge, Edge as the best wrestler. And here he gets beat by a wrestling move. So yep. there was a lot of irony in that ending. And of course, the universal match, uh, Braun Strowman, uh, the Fiend, the Fiend wins, blindsided by Roman coming back, who, by the way, should have just tinted his teeth a little lighter <laughs> than, than the brightness when he, if that's the first thing I noticed. <laughs> Did you see Randy Orton's Instagram when he came back? Something, yeah. Oh, dear Lord, that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he looked good. He looked solid. I did not understand the cutting up of the ring if you're going to end up losing to a sister Abigail anyway. And they say he never even hit the wood. 
according to views from the other side, that uh, when Sister Abigail was applied, he hit the pad. I was waiting anyway. for like Alexa Bliss to come out of the wood right. or something. I right. thought that was like how she was going to come out. Exactly. The so, whole match what I was waiting for. I was like, how is this going to end? It, <laughs> Not the way you wanted. No. Absolutely. All right, with that, let's take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to go over more news and notes from the WWE, talk about some other things going on in the world, and, of course, pop culture to wrap up the show. You're watching Thoughts Count Anywhere. We'll be back in about, I don't know, 30, 60 seconds, whatever the boss decides to do. Don't go anywhere. Looking to advertise your small business at a low cost? Do you need your commercial designed or actually produced for you? Advertise on two of the hottest shows on the Internet, Power Play Sports Collectibles, and Thoughts Count Anywhere. Both shows with getting over 40,000 views per week for only one low cost. For more information, please email info at thoughtscountanywhere.com. Old World Recipes Old World Style Old World Taste Burnt Offerings at 3909 West Sahara Avenue is where the old world meets Las Vegas for a dining experience like no other. Burnt Offerings, where foodies dine. All right, welcome back to Thoughts Count Anywhere. Hey, quick reminder, give us a call, 702-329-6947. The autographed picture of Zeus that you saw earlier, we're actually giving one of those away tonight, now, during the show, up until 8 o'clock. First caller, 702-329-6947. The second picture that we have at uh, Power Play Sports Collectibles, that's the one. We have a second one that we're giving away as part of the, the website uh, giveaway that will end next week. So call now. So do you want to do trivia or just call in? Oh, Let's I'm, just do a call in. Yeah. Let's Chief's see. not allowed. Well, he's already disqualified yes. himself. So, yes. Um, Philip Campbell agrees with our um, thoughts on McIntyre Norton being a great match. That's, <laughs> so, okay. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> Who's blowing you uh, up now? Um, our, our buddy Chris. He says to be a perfect heel. I, I won't even read it because yes, I would be a perfect heel. <laughs> you just read it too. <laughs> yes, I did. Chris, right. thumbs up. There you go. <laughs> Speaking of which, why don't we turn it over to you, Scott and Jason? What do we have sitting there on the couch? The couch. Well, I'm going to let my salesperson do it since he's pulling some great numbers over at the store. So I'm going to give him all the accolades. And Jason, tell us a couple new products. Actually, we have a selection of these, but you brought down two wrestling related. So go for it. Speaking of Orton, we have. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I'm there. You're there. Okay, I'm there. We have in the store brand new, hot off the presses. Funko Pop with an 8x10 signed by Brett the Hitman Hart, as well as a Funko Pop with Randy Orton. Uh, the Brett Hart is $200. The Randy Orton is $150. But we also have Jake the Snake Roberts signed, which is $180. And then we have Ronda Rousey, Conor McGregor, our Muhammad Vegas Ali. Muhammad Ali, our Vegas Golden Knights. Mark Andre Fleury, William Carlson. The starting goalie. Yes, sir. <laughs> the great one himself, Wayne Gretzky. Also, uh, Michael Jordan. There's a Batman one in there. Michael there's Jordan. What? There's a what? There's a Batman one. Holy crap. Batman. There is <laughs> LeBron James. And last but not least is The Child. Yoda. Baby Yoda. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> For all those that don't know and can't see them, because it is on a black couch over there, um, they are approximately 16 by 20 uh, nameplate, and it's got a it's a shadow box, so it's not yep. a picture of a, a Funko Pop. It's actually a shadow box with the Funko Pop mounted in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chad down at uh, in Phoenix does a great job with these. And COAs we started... with those for the signatures? Yes, COAs come with them. I just I know they always do, but I want to yeah. ask. This is Power Play Sports. You want me, I, you I want me to go true heel on you? No, 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 no. no. I got a I, coconut here. You are dissing Power Play Sports. <laughs> I am not dissing anybody. People always want to know. <laughs> the only sponsor you have right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh, speechless. I got, <laughs> no, I got so much I can say, Ladies but I'll wait until off the Here is a public service announcement. All autographs at Power Play Sports Collectibles are authenticated. They are 100% real. They are not fake. Yes, thank As you. As only seen on the History Channel. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> 
Where's, where's Marty the That's Moth right. when I need him? <laughs> okay. Chief, lay off the belt, will you, please? I didn't bring it. You're never here, so I can't defend it when you're not here. So I got the belt at home. It's safely up against my new belt that I purchased. Hopefully my wife's not by, listening. By, by the way, Eileen, <laughs> check the credit cards. <laughs> no, all she got to do is... Well, all you gotta do is walk into my office. You count, the count the belts on the, the <laughs> count right. the belts on the wall. That's right. Today, you know woo, I've got the style and profile like yeah. never before. By the way, my wife is taking, and I know she's not listening, so it's okay. You can say all that. I'll just call her later. There's a way. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a uh, an event going on downtown, a suffrage walk to honor the right. I guess this is the anniversary when women got the right to vote. And so awesome. we're having this walk downtown to bring awareness and hopefully to increase uh, voter registration. She's down there. So no, she ain't listening. Not that even if she was home, she wouldn't be listening anyway. Which, by the way, two things. First of all, everybody that's in the path of that Hurricane Laura, Category 4, hitting, hitting land in a Category 4, they're talking like 20 feet waves. This, they said the window for evacuation closed about four or five hours ago. Yeah. And they're talking about water levels that you will not be able to survive. And this is a storm. If you get caught in, you will not be able to survive. So hopefully, right, take cover. Hopefully. Yeah, definitely. Is that a night nice game safe. that's breaking out? Um, so please be safe down there. Yes. And also, too, you know, I, I'm not getting political here, but we want to send out our thoughts and prayers to the families in Wisco- uh, Wisconsin yep. who ha- had that young man uh, lose his life with seven bullets to the back. First of all, got He's still alive, actually. I was paralyzed. just going to say, he is still alive, uh, paralyzed. Yep. They're not sure he's really ever going to walk again, but... Uh, you know, and, and the NBA as a result today, there are three there are three games uh, in the playoffs. The play, uh, led Major by, League Baseball, Major League Baseball, a couple of games, but the Milwaukee Bucks decided to boycott tonight's game, and the rest of the teams uh, followed suit. And uh, they've been postponed; they're not being forfeited. So they're probably these were all game five, so they're probably be rescheduled. Uh, Milwaukee and the Reds postponed their game, and Seattle and I forgot who they were playing also decided not to play. So I, I just. Listen, um, I, I would love solutions to come to the table because I don't know what the answer is anymore. And this isn't the forum to and, come up with them. And, but. and we had this conversation yes. earlier. I'm a little tired of people blaming certain people or others. You can Monday morning quarterback everything in the world. Yep. I can tell you right now that the 49ers should have done this. Could have, what have and you know what? And I believe that the players had a right to protest or, mm-hmm. you know, but I also believe that with all the money you guys make, why don't you go out there and get into these rural neighborhoods and help? Help help yeah. solve the problems. It's not... Broad brush is what you're painting people with. <laughs> and you know what? It's because I'm a first responder myself. Absolutely. I, I, I take that very yep. personal. Yeah. I thought you were going to reply to what's on the teleprompter. I, I don't read what he writes anymore. Oh, Dodgers and the Giants also decided not to play. Thank you, Thomas yeah. Burnett. Um, Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to business here. Um, 702-329-6947. Call in now. First caller gets the autographed picture of Zeus. We'll just call it that way. It's easy to remember for me. Uh, We have one, so you'll get that. All right, WWE report, please. Well, we touch base. Kerry Cross injured during take take over match with a separated shoulder. Let's go to the fourth bullet point because the first three we've kind of talked about. Sure. WWE is completely is compiling a list of banned fans from the Thunderdome after someone put up a fire Velveteen Dream graphic, Chris Benoit photos, and someone wearing a KKK hood. <laughs> and as we have here on our sheet, this is why we can't have nice things. I mean, come on, really? I mean, I, people, stop being stupid. I mean, just, I, I got to put it out there. Stop being stupid. Here in, for the listeners outside of the Las Vegas area, my daughter was in one of the classrooms that kids hacked in, they used a derogatory, derogatory name for African Americans, mm-hmm. they also used a very derogatory name towards Caucasian Americans, mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. just Caucasians, and the derogatory hip-hop music with every language in the book that shouldn't be played for kids, and they think it's funny. Grow up, and you know what? In our days, you know, our days... Yeah. yeah, when we walk yeah. uphill twice to yeah. and from school in the winter. In snow in Vegas. Um, but, <laughs> but you'd be taken out back. Oh, absolutely. And you'd get the you-know-what kicked out of you by your parents. Stop being stupid. Just, I got to put it out there. Yeah. The fact that WWE is letting you be a part of right. the Thunderdome, and you were chosen as a guest, and then to just rudely do this crap because you feel like you got to make a statement 
That is not where you make the statement. Just keep it to yourself. Right. Get out from behind your computer and do Absolutely. something in the world. Get Absolutely. a job. So that's another way for keyboard warriors to yep. try to do their no little and bull this is, crap. And this is what's what the detriment to social media is when you have people like that. Yeah. That's the negative side to social media. Trolling but. is not a fun thing to do. No. Spin it around if that was your child or something in that classroom or... You know, you are a relative of the Benoit family, which dur- during the documentary, yes. we saw, you know, with the oldest son. Yep. He's been traumatized for the rest of his life. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Chief just mentioned that, uh, you know, he got his ass whooped like that. Listen, I took one shot, a size 13 hard sole moccasin to my butt one time. And you learned. One time is all I needed. Oh, when I, got, when I got in trouble, I got spanked by my mom and dad. Yeah. I got grounded. I, it's, yeah. it's Your dad's normal. one of the world's strongest men. How about <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> you messed up more Mark than Mark Henry's your dad? Dumb. Actually, no, Scott, Scott to be... <laughs> yes, to be I, I know your dad's history. Right. But. but, yeah, my dad, being yeah. back in being the world's strongest man in 82, yep. he... I was deathly afraid of that man. And I love him, love him for everything that he's ever taught me. If it was not for my dad being as stern and as strong as he was towards me... Things could be different. Yeah. And that's what kids need to understand. Kids need to understand that your parents, yeah, it may be bad that they spank you or ground you, but that's what you need. Child Protective Services is always threatened by the kid. I'm going to call CPS. Well, you know what? Make that the last call you make. That's and right. Right. Exactly. And you better make it collect at that point. <laughs> I've got to make that call on somebody. <laughs> I've never seen somebody sober up that fast. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right. Uh, we don't want to get into parenting here because that's not what this is about. Payback. Roman comes back, and all of a sudden, we have a triple threat on payback this Sunday. First of all, I don't think they should have a pay uh, oh. a pay per view six days later. How did it that was, happen? Yeah, I mean, who is scheduling? Do they not have calendar on their phone <laughs> or something? Vince, it's called an Android or an Apple phone. It That's has right. it. Vince doesn't have. He's not updated with the times. I, I, it just <laughs> once again, they could have played this storyline up for yeah. at least a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. I, I just don't get it. Yep, I, I didn't even realize there was one. This when they're talking about it on Sunday, I'm like, what next week? And your dad says he loves you, by the yes, way. I, yeah, I saw that. That's he shared awesome. out for the that's world. That's awesome. He listens. Absolutely. I, I think that's great. My dad and his wife were listening earlier. All right. Tag titles are up for grabs. Bailey and Sasha Banks uh, will take on uh, Jax and Shayna Baszler this weekend. Cue puke noise. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Yes, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Jason, quick. Alistair Black t- returned to Raw and turned heel by smacking Kevin Owens with Black Mass. Honestly, that was not shocking because the way Alistair was sitting there and he just kind of like was ignoring everything that uh, Kevin had to say, you mm-hmm. knew something was going to happen. And it's a, good, it's a good heel turn for Alistair, especially the fact that I love seeing that dark side of Alistair Black. Yeah, it, it definitely looks really good with him being the heel character. But somebody needed to shit, shut up Kevin Owens a long time ago. Well, so they, was, <laughs> was, was it a heel or was it a face turn? Well, they were, they were talking about, I read it online today on some of the dirt sheets, that supposedly it was supposed to be Rollins and Owens again. Um, but fortunately, with Alistair Black coming back, they've obviously changed direction. I don't think we need to see Owens and, and Seth Rollins again. No, not, how no. are you going to top him jumping off like the WrestleMania sign to end that feud? Exactly. Totally agree. Samoa Joe is doing such a good job in commentary that uh, we may not ever see him back in the ring as part of WWE because of, I guess, a lot of concussions. So he is doing a great job. I like him on the mic personally. I, I love him on the mic. Yeah. I was never a big Samoa Joe fan in his wrestling, even back when he was wrestling for that other organization. Impact. Yeah, okay. TNA. <laughs> yeah, TNA. Um, you know, his, he had great feuds with uh, Kurt Angle. But I just I never liked his style for some reason. So he's doing a great job, and he can always pull that I'm a wrestler, you know, get out of my face, right. you know, and, and stand up like he did a couple weeks back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he's very knowledgeable. Yes. He, he's very knowledgeable, and he can it, just banter beautifully when it comes to them asking questions that Saxon doesn't know or Phillips doesn't know. Joe can take it with no problem. We have 10 minutes left to give away tonight's giveaway. 702-329-6947. Give us a call right now. First caller gets it. And then, of course, we have the one up on the website, which will be available uh, until next Wednesday show at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. You just go onto our website, thoughtscountanywhere.com, and put in your email, like our Facebook (laughs) page, subscribe to our YouTube, or send a tweet. There you go. Fascinating. All right. Uh, and congratulations to Jeff Hardy, surprisingly, in my opinion, beating AJ Styles. 
the night before the big weekend on SmackDown for the Intercontinental belt. Vince wanted to put a belt on a Hardy before somebody else did. I guess, I guess so, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, there you go. You Next bomb. topic. <laughs> Next topic. The AEW Impact Report. Matt, take it away. <laughs> congratulations. Oh, you know what? Since we're talking Impact, congratulations to Miguel and Tessa, otherwise known as Daga and Tessa Blanchard. Tessa. Yeah. Uh, congratulations to get married this past week. I mm-hmm. got some pictures of the wedding right. and uh, sent to me. And beautiful bride, handsome groom. They make a great couple. And congratulations. No matter how many Impact titles are running around that company, Tessa's still the champion. I care Never what anybody was says. beaten. Nope. 702-329-6947. You have 10 minutes to call in now to get that autographed picture. Chris Jericho said on his podcast that AEW is still talking to Mike Tyson about another appearance, maybe to fight Jericho. Why? Why, Why not? I don't want to see him in the ring. He... It's a name because you got Chris Jericho and you, you bring in Mike Tyson. Who else on that in that roster has a name that people recognize? John Moxley isn't it because people refer to him as Dean, Dean Ambrose. Ambrose. You know, uh, Cody Rhodes, he can't even use his last name. Um, but seriously, who else on that roster? So you bring in a name like Mike Tyson and the advertisers on different networks or toys, they go, oh, oh my God. Yeah. All right. So let me ask you this question. AEW says they're going to do things that nobody else has ever seen in wrestling. <laughs> they want to bring back Mike Tyson. Mark Henry walks back into a WWE ring, WWE ring this past Monday. I mean, they I, flew him all the way from Texas to host a freaking arm wrestling match. I know. They could have did so much that more last with Henry. What a Done. waste <laughs> of a freaking airline right? ticket. Yeah. Uh, Chief is asking for a Tessa update, which we just gave, uh, getting married. And, of course, we're hey, I think he's, attention. I'm not going to bother her on I, her, right. on her uh, honeymoon. Honeymoon. Where they're not going to Matt would. Up. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Giggity, giggity, giggity. <laughs> He's getting better. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> what do you guys ta- think about uh, the, the reports going around that everybody from uh, WWE, except for Roman Reigns, has reached out to AEW for feelers and seeing what they would offer? You guys believe in that? <laughs> That's not shocking at all. No. You always, I mean, you're in the real world. Um, Who says? <laughs> exactly. I mean, if somebody's throwing money around, you're going to inquire. And if, they're coming, if they're coming to me, that's yeah. different than me calling them while I'm employed. Okay. And that's what they're doing here. Yeah. And, you know, in wrestling, you could be gone the next week. No, absolutely. I mean, and Tony sure. Khan's throwing away stupid money. Yeah. Throwing it away. If you I'm need thinking, a new commentary team. Yeah. I mean, seriously, <laughs> it just, it. why wouldn't some of them re- reach out, especially when they had the, you know, mass layoffs and cuts back in the coronavirus start time frame, you know, the first month? It's something you got to keep your, you know, Avenues open. So, are you saying that Jericho and Mike Tyson might be an upgrade from this Mimosa match against Orange Cassidy that Chris Jericho is supposed to have? Yes. Did I get that out quick enough? <laughs> Winner has oh. to get his opponent into an 80 gallon cocktail vat at ringside. Kind of reminds me of the mud matches with the Divas back in the day. And people <laughs> wonder why I don't like AEW. They're doing stupid shit like this. It's no different. I'm telling yeah, you. I mean, but that was in the Attitude Era and stuff like that. Yeah. The Braun panties matches, the pillow fight matches. Right. All the stuff that, you know. By the way, I don't want to see Jericho in Braun panties. Let's clarify that right now, please. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm definitely okay. sure. You notice how Moxley is, like, kind of frustrated with everything going on, too. Yeah, I, I just. As we predicted, or at least I did. I thought Cody, with his heritage of his dad, right. that he wanted to bring back into wrestling, would do more NWA Texas style wrestling mm-hmm. and bridge the gap between the older and the newer generation and actually put on some quality matches and not the gimmick matches. Yeah, I agree. That's why when they said they were going to come out and see something that you haven't seen in wrestling or we're going to do things differently, like what? And they so said it was going to be more sports like sports based, like where they kept track of everything. And well, they're records. keeping track of like wins was... and losses, but it hasn't meant anything. No. Yeah, no. So, all right, let's go to pop culture. 702-329-6947. Call now. You're going to lose that opportunity to get that autographed picture. Batman trailer. Did you see it? I got to be honest. I have not. I've been, and I'll tell you why. Uh-huh. I'll tell you why I haven't. <laughs> I, am, I am not impressed with the guy who's going to play Batman. Dang. I do. You, uh, you watch I, the trailer. Watch the tra- I give him okay. credit. Right. Except I, I started laughing with the Batmobile. <laughs> oh, we got a caller. Chief. We got... <laughs> 
Did I guess? Hi, Chief. How are you? Thomas Burnett. Oh, oh Thomas. Thomas. How are you, buddy? Well, we had the Thomas part. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, buddy? Good. How are you guys? Doing very well. Are you calling in for that great autograph picture that Matt will describe that you've won right now? <laughs> yes, and it's just to say hi. Well, we appreciate hi. that. Hi. Hi. Oh, my God. You sounded hi. like the three stooges right there. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Johnny, tell Thomas what he's won if you would. <laughs> well, Thomas, you have won an 8 by 10 signed by Zeus. From the no, it's a eight by ten of the no holds barred poster signed by Zoo. So if he can ever get Hulk Hogan to finish it, it'd be a pretty dope piece. Epic. <laughs> and of course, that'll be available for pickup at the store. Is that right? You can pick it up at Power Play Sports. It's already there. We'll at put the your Boulevard name on it. Mall. At the Boulevard Mall. By the way, Thomas is one of the best buyers of my wife's mask. He's a returning customer about 10, 12, 14 times. Not only for him and his family. So we appreciate nice. that awesome. too, bud. Yes, they are awesome masks. Right on. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Thomas. All right, bud. Thank you. Keep listening. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys. Thanks, Thomas. Bye. All right. Uh, Batman trailer. I will go out and watch it. 824 was Kobe Day. Did was his birthday like a day off from there? So, oh, it's because it was his two yeah. numbers, 8 and right. 24. But his birthday was this past week. Like 823, week, yeah. like the 23rd or something yep. was. But yeah, I didn't even realize it. That the but did you hear about was. the dumbest person alive? Uh, no. There was a guy who won a storage locker for $375 and found... A bunch of Kobe. Yeah. Like actual, his actual shoes, a mink, his mink coat with the really? thing on it, his pass for the Staples Center. Okay. And this guy sold this stuff to one of the guy from Storage Wars for $13,000. So the guy from Storage Wars is probably going to make a couple million dollars off of this deal. Jeez. Crazy. <laughs> We're on a silent. <laughs> no, I mean, it's when you think about the money... That's from Batman. Yes, it is. The original TV version. Yeah. Oh, we got another caller. <laughs> That's got to be Chief. <laughs> Thank you, caller, for calling in. Please tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hello? This, this is Chief. <laughs> Hi, Chief. Peter Maivia. How are you? <laughs> doing all right. How are you? <laughs> We're doing well, bud. What's going on? Hey, I just wanted to call in and... Uh... Say it's a great show tonight, and uh, I wasn't the number one caller, as everybody predicted. <laughs> but uh, but that's due to Aaron. So uh, Ooh, yeah, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Elicus. Aaron, it's too bad for Aaron, you, Aaron Elicus. Bring the belt next week. Ooh, what a grouch. I will be there. When? The when? Belt. When? Next week. You're going to be here next Wednesday. Ooh, he can I fill in for me next Wednesday in live. And in living color. Okay. I will be there. All right. And for, for, all, the belt. for all those interested, and you know, you could turn off, you know, because you come for me. I will not be here next week. Why not? I have another engagement to. He has to. something more important to do than yes. talk about wrestling to his fans. I have, I have a work function that I am going to attend with my lovely wife. Well, does she know? That's okay. Yes, she does. She that's does. Okay. She just doesn't know who she's going with. <laughs> hey. Anyway, guys, great show tonight. Thanks, As but all. that means Thank you're you. filling Thanks. in as guest host next week. I yes. hope you realize that. Love you guys. All right, Chief. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Can I take number three? Can I take number three? Go Can for I take it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, God. The Knights are in the second round of the playoffs against the Canucks, and they're tied 1-1. Good. Go Canucks. Here's – yeah. Wait, you got a Canadian over there? Of all course. I, yeah. Calgary. Yeah, and I thought he booed. He but did. Why? I don't go know. Go Canada. But anyway <laughs> – I am, I am not a this year's Knights fan because of all the stuff going on. Plus, yeah, surprise. Plus the fact that DeBoer, their head coach, which was a very interesting topic that the broadcasters brought up, that he's been to the Stanley Cup Finals twice in his first year with the team, which means he'll probably go three times. But yet he's never won. That means he's never put his own team together. And after the first year, he's destroyed the team. So guess what? Mark andre Fleury, I'm your fan. As soon as you're back in goal, I'll be a Knights fan. This from the guy who's got a personalized Knights plate on his car. But I bought it back in March and <laughs> couldn't pick it up. <laughs> it's not on the car yet because Jason will take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Shut we, up. <laughs> we mentioned before NBA and MLB. By the way, WNBA also uh, tonight, I believe, they stood with their NBA yes. brothers and they too did decide them out to play. 
Last but not least on the way out, if anybody wants to buy some property, I know some property here in Las Vegas has up for sale. Wayne Newton Shenandoah Ranch. <laughs> but it's actually not his. Well, it's the IRS's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they yeah, took it from they, him. It was sold yeah, was about a year ago. ago. Yeah. yeah. But it's now up for sale yep. for a poultry thirty million dollars. I, I gave you fifty, but it was actually thirty million. But it, it was actually part of a movie. What movie? It was. Uh, it was one of the vacation movies. Okay. So yeah, I got I Chevy Chase. They were here in Vegas, Vegas vacation. vacation. Vegas vacation. Uh, and also back in Jersey, Sheep if you want to. Lying, no good, rotten, four flushing, low life, snake wow. licking, dirt eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant, <laughs> blood sucking, dog kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, heartless, fat ass, bug eyed. Stiff-legged, spotty-legged, worm-headed sack of monkeys. Okay. Do we log into the Clark County School District? <laughs> <laughs> I think we just got hacked. Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, reporting from Scott's head, that was the feature we just heard going on in his brain when he gets a Exactly. Michael. Where's the song Blame Canada? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, real quickly, though, back in Jersey, if you want to own Eli Manning's house, he is selling that for $5 million if you want to buy his house as well. All right, been a lot of fun tonight. A lot of stuff we covered. I think we did a good job. Jason, final thoughts, sir. Be safe. And that's about it. All right, Matt. Stay cool out there. It's a, it's brutal. It's hot. And one last pitch for our contest. Visit thoughtscountanywhere.com and get yourself a Debo picture signed. Friday picture. Friday picture, yeah. That's what <laughs> Scott, I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> Don't forget, next, not this weekend, but the following weekend, Labor Day weekend, 5th and 6th, over at Sunset Station, we have the Sports Cards Toys Collectible Show, Saturday and Sunday, outside the bowling center. There'll be about 30 vendors' tables. We also have Las Vegas' own former, unfortunately, ex-division champion Chris Bay, and also former WWE, WWF star, D. Lo Brown. D. Lo Brown. So come on over and see all the sports cards, toys, and collectibles show over at Sunset Station on the fifth and sixth. Do we have a guest for Saturday morning on your show? Power Play Sports Collectibles. Do we have anything lined up yet? Nothing yet, but we might have card breaks come in. I oh, haven't talked to right. them yet. There you go. Yeah. All right. With that, as always, folks, ladies and gentlemen, be kind to each other. Why is that? We're all we got. Please, please watch out for everybody. My goodness, enough of this garbage. Watch the Batman trailer. Watch the Batman trailer. Love y'all. We'll see you next time right here with TCA. Thanks. Peace and chicken grease.